Hello and welcome back. Today, I'm trying out some 3D printed guitar picks, and I've chosen these four to check out. So I've got them all open in Tinkercad just so that I can resize them because the thickness of the picks that I like to use are 1.5 millimeters and this Dunlop will be the one that I'm comparing them to. Also, I'm gonna leave this one, the Gypsy one, at its original thickness just because I wanted to try it out as it is. Alright, and here they are in Cura and I have them set to print one at a time in standard quality out of Matter Hacker's yellow Build Series PLA. Let's see how they turn out. And they look pretty clean. Oh, and this one, I had to cut it in two and print it twice because of the finger grip. So I'll be using my trusty gel super glue to piece them together. Okay, and just to see how accurate they came out, I stuck the caliper on them. And I'm not exactly thrilled with how far off they are, but mm, what can you do? I'll keep the difference in accuracy in mind if I print some more. Alright, so here I'm just showing how I would hold each pick, starting with the Dunlop. And now moving on to this one, it's a little bit awkward because of the grip. I hold my picks at a slight angle and close to the tip, so having this one's grip try to force my finger into a different position is already a bad sign. Okay, and now the skeletonized pick. This one actually feels pretty good. It grips very well, albeit a little small. And now the hex pick. This one feels closer to what I'm used to, and that grip is really nice. So a big thumbs up already for this one. And last but not least, the Gypsy Pick. This one was really just to check it out. I know some people like a really thick pick, and this will give me a pretty good idea of how one would feel without having to buy one. And if you can tell, there is an indention in the middle of this pick, which makes it a bit awkward, because again, it's forcing my finger into a specific and uncomfortable position, and that's not what I'm used to. But that could be easily remedied with a slight remix. Alright, so without further ado, let's check them out and see how they compare to the Dunlop that I'm used to.
Okay, so after all that, all of these picks did well for what they are, especially considering that they didn't exist about an hour ago until I printed them out, but I think we have a clear winner here. Drum roll, please. Oh, 
All right, it's the hex pick in first place with the skeletonized at a close second. Just in case, you know, that, that wasn't obvious. <laughs> all right, that's all I've got for you today. I appreciate you tuning in. Catch you in the next one. And as always, have the best day ever. Stop!